Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel lookup series that is running into my channel. So friends, today in this video we are going to learn how to use the VLOOKUP function and the column function in Microsoft Excel to merge the tables of your database. To merge tables you can use the VLOOKUP function to look up and retrieve data from one table to another. To use VLOOKUP this way both tables must share a common ID that I have given here like ID. In this video I will explain how to join tables using VLOOKUP and a calculated column index. This is one way to use the same basic formula to retrieve data across more than one column. So let's get back to the formula. So I want to use the VLOOKUP formula and want to drag this formula anywhere I want. So what do just we need to do? Use the VLOOKUP formula like this equals to VLOOKUP. Use the tab button to autofill the formula and automatically put a bracket into it. Then use the lookup value as this one but lock this C column as your lookup value by pressing the A4 key thrice from your keyboard. You need to press that three times. Now it is showing as the lookup value is in the $C5. That means C column will be constant and the row number will be changed when we drag the formula anywhere. Put a comma. Now here you need to put the table ID from here. Select that with your cursor or you can type it manually. Then make sure to lock it with absolute reference by pressing the A4 key from your keyboard. Put a comma. Now we need to use the column function as column index number. So look at here you can see there are five columns but here is only three columns. So what we need to do in this column what we are searching for. We are searching for name from this table array. So using the column function close this bracket then what the number of this column is in this table that is number two. So minus three will be actually function about the number two column here. Then put a comma. Now here it is asking for approximate match or exact match. So we are using the exact match function in this formula. Then close the bracket and simply hit the enter button. Look at here it is showing now absolutely fine. This formula actually works fine in your long database. So if you drag the formula to the right it will show you the result properly and if you drag it to the downwards it will show you the results accurately and absolutely fine. So now let's check how this formula actually works. This is a standard exact match VLOOKUP formula with one exception that is the column index is calculated using the column function. When the column function is used without any arguments it returns a number that corresponds to the current column. In this case the first instance of this formula in column E that is name column returns as 5 since column E is in the fifth column in the worksheet. We don't actually want to retrieve data from the fifth column of the customer table that is this one where we have only three columns total. So we need to subtract three from five to get the number two which is used to retrieve name from customer data that is ID and name. We are using the ID as key in this formula. When this formula is copied to column F the same formula yields number 3. When the formula is copied across to column F the same formula yields the number as 3. As a result the first instance get name from the customer table that is column number 2 and the second instance that was in column A gets state from the customer table as column number 3. 
You can use the same approach to write one VLOOKUP formula that you can copy across many columns to retrieve values from consecutive columns in another table. So that's all for today friends. Hopefully you like this video and learn something interesting about VLOOKUP formula and column formula in Microsoft Excel. I'll come back soon with another interesting video. Till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.